Okay, here we go. It's now 2.30s and anglers should be back. There's two different groups. Welcome to St. George's Basin, which is round number seven of the 2017 Hobie Kayak Brim Series. This weekend's sponsor is by Pro Lure. A number of anglers have been using Pro Lure to um, catch their limit this weekend. We also are thankful to have the support of Mortgage Corp, Lawrence, Berkeley, Pro Lure, Rhino Rack, Power Pole, Strike Pro, TT Lures, Hobby Polarized, and supporting dealer this weekend is Totally Immersed Water Sports. They're just in South Nara, down from the uh, Nara Toyota. This particular weekend, anglers are fishing for Angler of the Year points. They are also fishing for the Atomic Big Brim. Atomic is a lure uh, produced and distributed by Froglies, and that is going to get you $100. Um, for the Big Brim over the weekend. They're also fishing for cash and prizes. Um, being round 7 of 12, the anglers are also fishing, as I said before, Angler of the Year points, in which we take the top 10 and take them to northern Queensland. We fish for Barramundi and Sooty Grunners on factory-supplied Pro Angler 17 tees. At the end of the season, the angler with the most points also gets a trip to fish uh, in the United States with an Aussie guy named Carl Jerkovson, who's now fishing as a Bass Pro in the FLW series over there. This particular round, we had a good turnout with, uh, I think, 62 kayaks and uh, 65 anglers, and we thank them for the support. Uh, if you're not aware, we have several different divisions. All the anglers other than the PA-17s are fishing for the open division, but it's also broken down to other classes. We have three in the youth division, and that's age 16 to 21. We have three in the women's, three in the masters, and that's 60 to 64 years of age. And we also have three in the first-time entries. And what first-timer's entry means is that you can have any kayak you want. If you want to come fish the comp, it costs you absolutely nothing. No entry fee, no membership fees. It gives you the opportunity to come down, try out the fishing, see how the tournaments run, and then join us. This particular weekend, we also have the introduction to the brand new PA-17. It's the Pro Angler 17 class. Um, it's a tandem kayak. 
We're fortunate this weekend we have anglers from the ACT, New South Wales, Victoria, and Queensland. And anglers are fishing for a total of four brim today, and they must be 26 centimeters to the tip. Weather over the last two days has been fantastic, even though there's a lot of doom and gloom, it turned out to be a, a, an awesome weekend for fishing. Both days we've had a start time of 7 a.m. and the anglers are grouped into two different sections. So key tags 1 to 30 had to finish at 2.30 on day 1. They finish at 2.45 on day 2 and the reverse on day 2. The group 31 and above, they'll finish at 2.30 today. Now yesterday we had 183 brim brought to us to weigh in here at the scales for a total of 99.71 kilos. And the nice thing about of our tournaments is they're all catch and release. The fish release back in the day and I think it's very good. Now today we have um, Bob Finlay from Hobie Media taking the photographs and also working out where the Lawrence release area is. We have Jim Berry on scoring. Jim is also the second tournament director. We have Sue Fields on scoring. We also have Amy Berry in assisting us scoring as well. So many thanks to uh, Sue and Amy for coming down. We also have uh, Stuart Dunn on the bump tubs, and he is going to be doing the measuring for us. So that way the bags are pre-measured to make sure all the fish are at least 26 centimeters to the tip to help us. And if I get the thumbs up from scoring, then we're all go. It's all good there. Amy, you all good to go? Fantastic. First angler up is Tamika Purnell. She's in the women's division. She was leading yesterday with four fish at 2.46 kilos. Scoring is showing that she is got four fish. She is in 10th place in the open. So the nice thing about this class is you get to do both. How are you? Great, thanks, Steve. You got some fish again. I did. I jagged them. So now you're fishing against your son and your um, your hubby as well. Yeah. How do you think you went? Um, I haven't spoken to Kale, um, so I don't know how he's gone today. Um, Chris got four fish, and yeah, I don't know. I think it'll be close for the bag today. So he okay, can here we go. Him. Let's see what this is going to. Four fish are going to come in. Not too bad. Two point one five kilos. Now that puts you in the lead overall. <laughs> Should we stop Thank the you. tournament now? Yeah, stop, uh, stop the tournament now. All right. Well done, Tamika. The girls are having a ball fishing, and it uh, shows you not it's a, not a male-dominated sport. Chris Purnell is uh, next up. Now, obviously, Tamika and Chris are totally immersed water sports. They're doing the catering. All the rounds are catered for the anglers with something to eat every morning. That's why they're weighing in first. Not too bad. I'm hoping a little better than yesterday. A little better than yesterday. You had 2.01 kilos yesterday. You need 2.61 kilos to take the lead. No, I think he's shaking me. his head. Let's see what this come in. 2.44 kilos. Not too bad. It does put you in the first place. So you have bragging rights over your wife for a moment. Done. All right. Thank you. Peter Blaze is next. Made the journey from Victoria. Two fish yesterday, a couple short. Big improvement. It's got three today. We saw him out in the water a few times. Currently in a 45th position. How are you, Peter? Very good, thank you. What an awesome day on the water. The basin has turned it on again. Fantastic fishery. We love coming here. All right, let's see what these three fish are going to come in. Not too shabby. 1.87 kilos. you got to be happy with that. Um, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Lindsay Pryke is next. Victoria from the Open. Four fish yesterday for 1.60 kilos. Four fish again the day. You're going to need a, a healthy three-plus kilo bag to take the lead. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. No, it's not. And this is passive Stuart Dunn test? Yeah. It did. All right. He's shaking his head. Did he slip you a $100 bill or something, did he? I checked Stewie's pockets real quick. All right, those four fish come in at 1.51 kilos. Not too bad. Great day on the water. Always a pleasure to see you guys come down here. You make a good effort and, and do the yards to get here without question. Doug Baker's next. Had four yesterday. Two today. Oh, dear. Struggle, struggle. The last fish, 20 minutes. That's the thing. you got to keep fishing. That's a nice fish, though. Yeah, it is a nice fish. This is the biggest one you just got just in here? Yeah, down at the pole. I got that. Down at the pole. It's always a good spot. Yeah. Especially throwing some uh, oh, soft plastics in there. 
No, he was on a blow. One point three five. Did you want to weigh that for Big Brim? Oh, it's not going to make it. I'd like to see how much he weighs. I'll do that pleasure for you. Thank you. All right, we're going to wait for the Big Brim, and somewhere is 1.41 kilos is the Big Brim over yesterday. You're not going to do that, but let's see if we can take and break a keg for a Basin Brim. 0.91, close but no cigar. Thank you for coming. You grab the fish. I'm not the fish handler. <laughs> All right, Mark Young's neck. Three fish yesterday, four today. That's what we'd like to see. Get the full bags. That's a start. Chasing angle of the year points. You're 39 so far in angle of the year. I Not too bag. bad. Let's see what this comes in. You need 3.28. It's not going to happen, but... Oh, maybe three. Not quite three. Mm, point two, I think. That's hopeful thinking. <laughs> 1.77 kilos. Thank you. Nice try, mate. Well done. Cheers. Good seeing you guys here. So Tamika in the women's division is leading at 4.61 kilos, and that's for a cumulative weight of you know eight fish over two days. David Shanahan, four fish yesterday, not bad, 2.23 kilos. How did you get a day? Not as good. Not as big. You need 2.39 kilos. No. He's shaking his head no. Let's get rid of some of the water. Don't like weighing that. Let's see where this puts you up into. You're currently in 23rd. That's 2.23. Puts you into second. For how long yeah, is long. another story. Enjoy the moment while you can. And where's the back of the line at from here? You guys are there. Nice, healthy line. There's probably 50 people in line. Richard Benson is next. Richard um, had 2.14 kilos yesterday. Had his four fish by about probably, I think, 8 o'clock in the morning. And then just did small upgrades all day long. Needs some serious weight today. Need 2.48 kilos. You need 2.48. You're currently in sixth place in Anger of the Year points. Here we go. Does he have, are we going to have a new leader? Let's have a look and see. 2.27. Not too bad. Puts you up into second for now. Now's the waiting game. Tamika Purnell is still leading the overall with Chris in second. Richard Benson is now in third. Trent Rogers from New South Wales, four yesterday for 1.87 kilos. Four fish it's showing me today. How are you? Good. Good day in the water? Yeah, it was good. It's all right? That's not bad. Yeah, not too bad. You need 2.275. I don't think that's going to happen. No. <laughs> but it's going to be a not bad. You, you know, you need some checks. Get in the paychecks. Not too terribly bad. 2.33 kilos. Well done. Very good bag. So we got about three and a half minutes, I think, for the first group key tags. I've, I'm reading that right? Yeah. Jeff Alford, four yesterday, 1.90. Four today. Let's see if he betters that 1.90 target. Any improvement? How are you, sir? Yeah, real good. Real what, good, Steve. Had a good day. It's a great day on the water. Yeah. A bit more wind would have been nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, it would have been. It was a bit glassy, but uh, still managed to get them. I got them late, though. Okay. Got a couple early and then just kept coming. All right. Up Let's see if we get above the 1.90. You well and truly did that. 2.26. You can't do better than that. Yeah. You improved. Well Please. done. Thank you. Fantastic. Great to see uh, backup bags and also bigger bags on day two. Lex Quartz in the Masters Division, that's 60 to 64. Four fish yesterday, nice bag of 2.24 kilos. Needs 2.38 to take the lead. He's shaking his head no. No way. <laughs> no, I can I'm tell sorry. already. That's all right. They're all legal, but you've got four. That's a good thing. Yeah, it was very good. You're starting to crack a pattern now. Getting full bags. The more rounds you do, the more it is. Seeing you on stage. More small ones. That's okay. 1.75 kilos. That's all right. Twice on stage with full bags. That's a good thing. It helps on those angle of the year points to get you to um, go bear Monday and sooty grunter fishing, which is absolutely blast. Now, the, uh, the PA-17T guys are up here, Mick Coggins and Jason Lambert. Three fish yesterday for 1.07. Two fish today, boys. Probably the same, Mike. <laughs> Two who carried who today? Uh, yeah, oh, so you've got sore shoulders today. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Karen, uh, well done. Let's see how that's going to do in there. 0.94. It puts you in the lead so far in the PA-17 class. Think of it that way. Think positive. 
Um, Lex Court with that baggie a minute ago into the Masters, put him into first at 3.99. Gary Hansen now is another Masters, four yesterday, two today. Ouch, no bad luck. ouch, ouch. Well, let's see how we go. Uh, Masters Division, 60 to 64 0.84. It's going to keep you into second at this stage at 2.75 kilos. There's still one more Masters to weigh in. Next on the PA 17T is uh, Cullen and Francis Di Martina. Okay, close. Not bad. Three fish yesterday. You got four. Yeah. Fantastic. Good day in the water? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Who caught all the fish? Uh, I was a bit even. Bit even. <laughs> Who caught the biggest fish? You can lie. Go ahead. No. <laughs> all right, let's see what this does. You need to get up there against um, a couple of other guys. Not too shabby. Great improvement over that. 2.44 kilos on day number two. Hey. Just got one more guy to weigh in, and we'll find out where you finished up in that division. All the key tags are in, I take it. Everyone's good? Fantastic. Jason, James Kilpatrick is next. He's from the Belmont area and is a hobby dealer, Hunter Water Sports. <laughs> Had a blank for a second there. It's all right. One, Only three. Three fish. Let's see what this is going to do. Good day in the water? Uh... Not great. Not great. 1.48. But it was nice out. Yeah, it was good. Thanks. No worries. Thank you. If you're ever up in that Belmont area and looking for some Hobie parts or advice and service, definitely stop by Hunter Water Sports right there on the main highway, which is a good spot. Who we got next? Jason Reed. Four fish yesterday. Had a really good bag yesterday. 2.52 kilos. Three today. Fong. What happened? Thank you, sir. Just didn't happen. Didn't happen today. <laughs> Cast to a thousand? Yep, sure was. All right, let's see how much pain this is going to be. 1.44 kilos, seventh place right now. Thank you very much, Dave. No worries, thank you. Tamika is still leading at 4.61 for eight. Christopher Purnell, 4.45 for second. And Richard Benson, 4.41 over the two day period. Gordon Gammy is next. No fish yesterday. We didn't see it. It was lonely up here. And he's just like Twice as many. We also have the Mortgage Corp mover and shaker, so uh, the most improved uh, over the two-day period. Right. Also get something. You could be in that running. That's a good prize to have. <laughs> .79, not too terribly bad. Well <laughs> done, mate. Fantastic to see you on stage. Also, a very big uh, thank you to Chris and Tamika from Totally Immersed Water Sports and Daryl Head for the, uh, the, the lunches. Yesterday we had beef and chicken curry. Today we've got nice uh, hamburgers and onions. Fantastic. Philip Hamilton's next. Didn't see him on stage yesterday. Four fish today. Were you here today? Yesterday? Yeah. But just yeah, no was. fish. Here today. What did you do today. different? Not much. Tied a blade on? Yeah, I pretty much just um, had the blades going. Okay. Out in the open water. Open water and blades. Here we go. 1.34 kilos. Good to see you on stage. Cheers. Thanks, matey. Fantastic. <clears throat> Byron Hill, four yesterday for 2.40 kilos. You need 2.2 kilos to take the lead. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had fun today. That's a fun today. Well, look, when it's your birthday, you really should have some fun. Did everyone know it's his birthday? Thank you. <laughs> All right, now let's just see if you can crack 2.22. Smashes it. 2.94. We have a new leader in. See, we, all good things come good. On your birthday. On your birthday. Do you want to stop now? All right. The last of the PA 17 tees is Daryl Head and uh, Coben Rasker. They had four fish yesterday for two kilos. How you going, boys? Not too bad. Good day in the water? Yeah. yeah it was it's good. A nice fish in there. It's a good one there. Well, let's weigh the bag first. PA 17 T class. First time on the water. 
2.33 kilos. That's good for a good bag. It's good enough. I take the mic, you take the bag, get the big fish out. And this would be for a big brim in the PA-17 division. And you guys just manually write that down. Good print. Almost a kegger, 0.98. Well done. Fantastic, guys. Great to see you uh, out on the PAs. They're a lot of fun. Very stable boat. <coughs> Tony Petty. Fantastic bag yesterday. 2.94 kilos. Currently in 17th place. He's in 5th place in the end of the year points before this round. A little bit light. Yeah, a bit of a tough day today. A little bit light. We saw you early on and you had your fish. And yeah, I had him early but uh, couldn't get any more. Okay. Let's see what this did. This change things around. Looking at 1.82 kilos, puts you into second place according to the scales. There, well done, and you get points. Points are good this time of year. Halfway through the season, it's really good. Glenn Allen, four yesterday. Okay, bag yesterday with uh, 2.05 kilos. It's looking a bit better from here. He's shaking his head that it is fantastic. How are you, mate? Good, good. Had a really good day. Much better, yeah, much it's, better. It's You've done food, something. Bit of everything. That's a nice, nice. Yeah. All right, the competition's off. Where did you catch these fish generally, and what did you catch uh, them on? Just on this side of the island. This yeah. side of the island. That's south of the island. Yep. Yeah, um, on six meters of water. Six Coming meters of water. Point, yep. And what lure are you using? Um, a Strike Pro vibe and Smarky vibes. Smarky. What color? Like um, pearl shrimp. Okay, pearl shrimp. Okay, I you need 3.3 to take the lead. Let's find out where you're going to come. Shabby doll. Fish. So south of the islands. Nice fish. We've had so many fish over a kilo yesterday. Let's see if this breaks a kilo. 9-1. A little bit skinny, but still a very good specimen from the basin. The basin is fishing really, really good right now. And like I said before, the nice thing about our series is all these fish return to the water. We don't keep anything at all, and it just uh, really helps the fishery. Paul Hardiman is next, 1.69 kilos yesterday for four fish. Struggleville today, one fish. You got one? It's all right. It was a long day. I got it early. <laughs> is it better to get it early or better to get it late? Well, I don't know. <laughs> all right. I've never worked that out myself. Not too bad. 0.47. I hope you enjoyed today. Yeah, I did. Thanks, Dave. Great weekend, obviously. Fantastic. Byron Hill is in first place with 5.34 kilos. Second place, Tony Petty, 4.76 kilo. Tamika Purnell, 4.61. David Ayton is next, 2 point, sorry, 1.10 kilos for two fish, one today. I told you to bring me four <laughs> fish, man. That's shocking. I'm embarrassed. Uh, it's not your style. You no. usually always bring full bags here. Anyway, you're on stage twice. You're getting points. You're currently in 20th place on England Your Points. 0.65. Well done, mate. Okay, thanks, sir. Chesney Fung had a really good bag yesterday. 2.46 kilos for his four fish. He's got another four. Needs 2.89 to take the lead. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? He's saying yeah, no. It's a bad sign, mate. 2.89. <laughs> it's got some weight there. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> 2.89 is what we're chasing. You're currently in 27th place. Do we have a new leader? Just short. 2.57. Not too shabby. That puts you into second place. Thank you. And into the checks. So it depends on how many are there. Where's the back of the line at now? You're it? S still another 30 Plus people here. Fantastic. Come on, Paul Davison. Two yesterday, three today. You've improved. <laughs> That's all you can do. Well, I'm looking at it this way. I donated at uh, Malacuda. Yes. And I got one fish at Clyde. I got two fish yesterday and three today, so we're slowly stepping up. We're stepping up. That sounds good. Not too bad. Those three fish are 1.96 kilos. Thank you very much. Awesome. Dane Price, if I've got the last name right, he did. We didn't see him yesterday, and he was late and got a negative score, but he's learning. And you're open, you got two fish today, so it's all good from here. That's good. How'd you go? 
Yeah, a bit better. Um, tied some heavy leader on today and... And got the fish to the boat. Yeah. There you go. A couple of them anyway. That's, that's better than yesterday. 1.13. That is a good blue. Not bad. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Just do a quick little recap. In fifth place uh, from New South Wales, Glenn Allen at 4.53 kilos. Fourth place, New South Wales, 4.61 kilos. Tamika Purnell from Victoria, Tony Petty, 4.76 kilos. Chesney Fung from Victoria, 5.03. And Byron Hill at 5.34. Carl Dubois is next. Four fish yesterday, a very light bag. What do we got today? Hey, Steve. We've got my four, but nothing special again. I think it's b- better than yesterday. Yeah, maybe 2.2, maybe. He's saying 2.2. A lot of these guys carry scales with them. 2.37, not too bad. Put you into 10th place. Thank you. There you go. It's going to change some volume here. And who we got next up there? Warren Allen, four for yesterday. Good bag yesterday, 2.79 kilos. Is he going to better that today? Twenty fourth place. You need two and a half kilos to take the lead. You got two and a half. Um, I don't. I, no, I haven't got two and a half. I reckon I've got maybe two point three. Okay, let's have a look. You're currently in twenty fourth. See if this bumps you up. Two point zero five kilos puts you into second place. Very good. Not too bad, mate. Thank you very much. Very, very consistent angler. All the rounds we've done over the couple of years, he um, consistently brings full bags. Lee Keel is next in the women's division. One fish yesterday for .44. Three fish today. Got to be happy with that. Got the Complete Angler shirt on. and the, um, These guys are supported by the uh, Complete Angler at South Narrow. How are you? Good, thanks. Much better day today? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Well done. Thank you. Do you catch fish all day or just in the morning and afternoon? Um, two in the morning and one in the afternoon. There we go. All right, let's see what this does. 1.14 kilos. Thank awesome. You. Good to see you on stage Thank again. Thank you. Kevin Bosey next. Bose, sorry. Four fish yesterday, 1.99 kilos. It's looking better than it was yesterday. He's saying it is. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Where'd you catch these? Um, all in the deep today. Uh, I went over the flat this morning, but... Okay. Uh, what was the predominant lure you used today to catch all these fish on? Blades. Blades? Yeah. And what colour blade? Uh, black. Black. Black predominant. Black yeah. predominant blades work yeah. in the deep water. How deep really were you fishing? 20 foot. 20 foot of water. Okay. You need 3.36 to kick the lead. You just need 1.19 to be yesterday. You've got 2.56, puts you into fifth place. Great result. Thank you. Fantastic. The nice thing about the basin, you've got a wide variety of some structures, some rock walls, some deep water, and then obviously the edge bite, subject to the wind conditions. Cameron Starr is next. Two fish yesterday, two again today. It's a four fish comp. Just thought I'd pass that on to you. I'm trying. Trying. That's all right. All right. Let's have a look. You're going to beat yesterday's total of 0.83. See if you've improved over it. You have 1.02. Well done, buddy. That's right. Good to see you here at the basin. Byron Hill is still hanging on to that lead. Kale Rattenbury, come on up. In the youth division, four fish yesterday. He had a 1.13 kilo brim. Got th- so he was second in the big brim. Four fish today. How are you? Yeah, good. It's okay. You excited? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Where is this going to put you in there? Is it going to be better than yesterday? A little bit lighter, 2.06 kilos. Thank you very much. Perfect. Kale is now in the lead in the youth division over Stephen Pryke. So he's got three, he's got 2.64 is what Stephen's got. So it's up to Stephen's bag. Jason Dean is next. Three fish yesterday, 1.71 kilos. Three again today. That's Con- not your consistency, style. Consistency, no. That's not oh, you. I couldn't get the fourth one again today. You're currently fourth in angle of your points. I oh, know, I needed to do better than that. But anyway. That's okay. Let's see how we go. 
And it's going to come in 1.77 kilos, 18th place. Thanks. Those are still a handful of points. Arthur, Amy's, come on up. Good base and bag yesterday of 2.20 kilos for four. You need just over three kilos to take the leave. You got three? He's saying no way. Lucky to have three fish. Lucky to have three fish. <laughs> Big day in the water? Yeah, it was actually. It's all right. Really, really good. And you're getting support from Complete Angler South Nara? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Let's have a look here. See where you're going to come at. You're currently in 37th place. 1.83 kilos. Going to put you into 15th place overall. Whoa. Thank you. Cheers. Moving up that ladder. Anthony Colso. Calso. Four fish yesterday, two kilos, 2.17 to be exact. Needs 3.18 to take the lead. Have we got that? No. No. That was a very confident no. No, not a big bag today, but. Um, I think it's bigger than yesterday. Yeah, oh, could be. Yeah, I'm just. Get some of the water up. Happy to get a bag, to be honest. Um, coming across on the boating tournaments, it's something different and fun for me. Perfect. So. 1.93. Not too bad. You got your eight fish over the two-day period. I did. Thank you very much. Great seeing you here fishing these rounds. Fantastic. Lex Irwin is next. Queensland in the Masters Division. Again, that's 60 to 64 age group. They compete in the Masters. They also then get a combined score to, to fish into the Open. Four fish yesterday for 1.77 kilos. Have you got that? Got four again. You got four? Uh, Very similar sized bag, I think. Lost a couple of bigger ones today, but anyway, it happens. Let's, here we go. Let's see if we can at least get yesterday's positioning. He's done that. 1.97 kilos. Thanks, Fantastic. Hey. Big improvement. And uh, represented from Queensland, which is really good to see. Matt Jorgensen is next on stage. Only one fish yesterday. Big improvement. Four fish today. We like seeing that. Working the basin out of where the fish are on that given day. Much better day. Yeah, haven't fished it before, so much better day. Where did yep. you fish today? Um, basically up around the second and third points. Gotcha. Yeah. That second point's a good one. It's got a mixed bag between perch, tailor, and brim in there, so it's a good spot. Yeah, got a few perch. Yeah. I was just going to say, yep, not too bad. 1.49 kilos. Fantastic. So you get your full bag. Thanks. Awesome. Basin has got so many places that hold fish. It's a really good fishery. Matt Jorgensen, no, we've already done him. Stephen Pryke in the youth division. So he's got 2.64 kilos. He needs to get 4.55 or better combined to do it. He's at 2.64 kilos yesterday. Are you going to do it? I don't know. I'm a bit useless with guessing the weight on these yellows. is a bit different to home, so... <laughs> okay, let's have a look at what it does. You, in the open division, you need 2.71 kilos in the open division. Let's see where that lands you there. That is it, 2.21 kilos in the open division, and that's going to take and put you into first place in the youth. Well done. Where did you catch these fish at today? Um, I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is. There's a heap of flats over the other side of the system and a heap of weed beds. And went over and fished them with chubbies and bent minnows early and picked off a bag by 8.30. Then moved out deep with the glass and conditions and yep. picked off a few upgrades. Did you head back in when the wind came back up? I went back in with the wind, but I couldn't get any better fish. There's a lot of undersizes and just legal, so... Yeah. Sounds good. You worked that pattern pretty well. Thank you very much. Puts him into third place overall in the open division. Michael Walker, come on up. Four fish yesterday on almost three kilo bag. 2.92 kilos yesterday. Four fish again today. You need 2.43 to take the lead. How much? 2.43. No, I don't think so. No, I don't no, either. I, 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 I don't upgraded so. about 10 times. You did. Half a similar time, so. Well, that's um, good to hear. Let's see where this lands you. Currently in 29th position. Those four fish are going to come in at 2.06, put you into second place. Not too bad. Well done. 
To recap, Byron Hill from New South Wales is still hanging on to first place at 5.34. Chesney Fung from Victoria, 5.03. And round up the top three, 4.98, Michael Walker from New South Wales. Jack Gammy, you caught some nice flathead today. Yeah, it was a flathead fest- festival. Out we there. saw you catch a few. That yeah, was good. No, pain in the ass by the end of it. <laughs> it's all right. You're chasing Bram. Now, you're in the youth, so um, you've got... 4.85 to beat in the youth. You had 2.01 kilos yesterday. Let's see where this puts you up. It's going to be 2.29 kilos in that one. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Cheers. Ended up into third position in that youth. Caught some cracker flathead. We got him on film today, so that was quite good. Danny Jobson is next. Just over a two kilo bag yesterday for four fish. Four again today. Have you got three and a half kilos for me? No, Steve. No, he says. That's confident. No. No, only little ones, mate. That's okay. Let's see if we can crack the two kilo mark and beat yesterday's result. Going to be a little bit shy. 1.78. Did you have fun on the weekend? Yeah, awesome, mate. It was a good weekend. Beautiful. After all the doom and gloom and the the fake news that's out there, it's going to kill too much rain. It was just beautiful down here. Absolutely beautiful day. Michael Garrett is next, New South Wales. Only two fish yesterday, two again today. It is a four-fish comp. I just want to make sure we relayed that to you at the start. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know how you feel. I've been there, done that. You got two, though. That's a good thing. Consistency. Yeah, that's it. You just need two of his mates. All right, those two fish are going to come in at 1.26. Did you have fun on the weekend? Yeah, really good. Awesome. Awesome I, weekend. I improved on weight. That's important. You improved on weight. It's always good. Brian Hunt, rock and roll. Come on out. 2.46 kilos. Very nice bag yesterday. <clears throat> Scorn is showing four fish. You're currently in 37th place. You need 2.8. You got 2.8? No, I don't think so. Let's see. It's not a bad bag. I think it's going to be similar to yesterday. It's hard to say. Let's have a look. You had 2.46 kilos yesterday. 2.30 kilos puts you up into sixth place. See if you can hang on for some money. Thanks. Thank you, sir. How's the uh, line? Is it still line still going? Yeah, we got Richard Summer. You're the last one, Richard. Okay, the line is still going. A lot of fish. Like I said, there was 183 brim caught and presented to us yesterday. Michael Basham, he's from New South Wales. He's one of the first timers, which is great. No fish yesterday. You got three today. Awesome. How good was that? Yeah, it was a lot better today than yesterday. Very good. So I realized how to do a bit better anyway. So That's all right. Good. And you need something with the alarm clock in the morning? <laughs> bit of a sleep in this morning, definitely. Bit of a sleep in? Oh, that's all right. Bit of a rush, rush start. Uh, you're right. You got three fish for first-timers, 1.11. Did you enjoy your weekend? Yeah, it was good. The comps are pretty friendly, and they're pretty easy to do, and uh, I think with the hospitality of the dealer and stuff, it makes a lot of fun. Definitely. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. From Wagga Wagga, made the journey in. I don't think there's a lot of brim fishing in Wagga, so you've done very, very well. Hats off to you. Shane Hazley? Hazley? Won yesterday, won the day. Are you going to be bitter than yesterday? Yeah, a little bit better. You have to beat 0.46. I think it's got it. Okay, let's have a look. He does. Easy. 0.72. There you go. I'll swap you. you. Thank you very much. Who we got next? Simon Morley. Simon had a very small bag yesterday for four, 2.27 kilos. Needs 3.08 kilos to take the lead. Currently in 40th place, but you're currently leading Angler of the Year. Yeah, both of them are going to drop now. <laughs> okay, this is still not a nice... This is good. This is better than yesterday. Yeah, it's better than yesterday. Better than yesterday bag. Did you end up going over to... Um, Brim Beach? Oh, I didn't make it that far. I though. was going to say, we went looking and we couldn't find you. All right, <laughs> let's see where this lands you. You're currently first in angle of the year. It's going to come in at 2.47, puts you into seventh place overall. That'll do. Thank you. There you go. Where's Byron at? He's still hanging on. Jonathan Chin, ACT. Had a really good bag yesterday, 2.59 kilos for four fish. Scorn is showing me that he's got four there. You need 2.76 kilos to take the lead. That's not going to happen. It's not going no. to happen. That's still, I think it's a little lighter than yesterday. Yep. 
a little bit lighter than yesterday from um, from the touch I've got. Let's have a look here. Healthy fish, two kilos even, puts you into ninth place for now. Thank you. Well done. Scott Marcinkowski, 2.23 kilos, four fish yesterday. He's backed it up again, got his another four. Needs a hefty three kilo bag to take this out. You need 3.12 kilos. I might get it. This is going to be close. You need 3.12. You're currently in 41st place. I can't guess that weight. Let's see if we have a new leader. Chasing at 3.12. Close. 2.98. Oh. Not too bad. Not too bad. Where did you catch these fish at today? Uh, right down the eastern edge. Eastern edge. And what were you predominantly throwing to get these? Uh, v VX40. and VX40s? Olive, olive color. 439 is the color, just so you know. It's one of my favorite lures on the basin. Awesome. 35s or 40s were you throwing? 40s. 40s. And he's got four today, so he's obviously had a, a change of game plan. A major change of game plan. Oh, well, that's all right. Perfect. Well done. Not bad. I'm just happy to not get a donut for once. Yeah, donuts. Well, donuts means uh, zero, and you are got no Krispy Kremes today. Not too bad. Four fish, zero, sorry, 2.09 kilos. Well done, mate. Thanks. Good to see you on stage. Massive improvement, and that could be that Mortgage Corp Monster Mover, the angler who improves the most day one to day two. We get a special award for him. Michelle Carmody in the women's division. Three fish yesterday for 1.26. Great to see the girls having a go here. Michelle's a, a veteran of the Hobie series, been around in the early days. I think it started in 2009. Always good to see her here, and she always comes on stage with fish. Much better day. You got four today. Yeah, four. They're only small, but That's they're, all right. they're there. Where'd you catch these today, Michelle? Uh, just out in the middle in the deeper water. Deeper water blades? Uh, vibes. Vibes, there you go. All right, let's have a look here. What that's going to take. Not too bad. Big improvement yesterday, 1.75 kilos. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well done, Michelle. Puts her into second place in the women's division. Kane Terry? Four fish yesterday, 2.84, not a bad bag. You're missing a few of those. Just a couple. Did you go yep. all the way down? All the way. How long did it take you to get there and back? An hour each way? Uh, about an hour and ten minutes. Hour and ten minutes yeah. travel on the kayak, went to Brim Beach, almost. Uh, I don't know where it was. It is. There's a post over there. Yeah, I know where it is. Actually. All right, that was a long journey, yep. 0.51. Awesome. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you're riveted. Uh, that's a long haul from this side of the basin all the way over to Brim Beach. It's about an hour each way, and you're fishing day's time. I'm waiting on you, man. Josh Clemens, four fish yesterday. Not bad. 2.45 kilos yesterday. You got the same uh, again? A bit lighter today, I think. Yes, but not that much. I'm kind of <laughs> two twos, two threes, maybe? Let's have a look. You need 2.90. We know that's not going to happen. 2.19, it's pretty close. Well done. Good day on the water. Thank you. Yeah, pretty good. That sounds good. Awesome. All right, I can see the back of the line. This is good. Paul Dunlop, four fish yesterday for 2.31 kilos. Four fish is what scoring show. I mean, you need just over three kilos to take the lead. I haven't got that. It doesn't have it. All right, let's have a look. You're currently in 42nd place, so this is going to take and definitely bump you up a bit. 2.09 kilos, 17th place. Not too bad. I think the scoring is right. Well done. we got two bags left, Stewie. Fantastic. Andrew Deeth, one fish yesterday, which is, I don't believe, and only two today. What have you done? You are my top five pick for the basin. There you go. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I've improved 100%. We went looking for you today, and we couldn't find you anywhere. Yeah, and I was about 50 metres away from you. <laughs> I had Stewie on board, and he couldn't find you. <laughs> when you left Richard, I was right there. 
Hidden. All right. Not too bad. 1.20 kilos. Well done. Glad you made the journey down. We'll go from there. Now, here we go. The last one. Leader on day one, Richard Summerton. Um, he had four fish for 3.21 kilos. He's got four fish today, and he needs 2.14 kilos to take the lead. I think you have that. Yeah, possibly, yes. Where did you catch these fish generally? Because I saw you fish all over the place. Yeah, and what did you catch them on? Yeah, first, first thing in the morning, went to, uh, is it Kangaroo Point? Yes. Yeah, between that one tree and there. Yep. So I had my bag by just after 8, I suppose, and started upgrading by about 10 past. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, had one little bit of a mess up today. I, uh, In my haste to upgrade a fish, I threw away a 820 gram <laughs> and left a 720 gram. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So were you I was hoping that wasn't going to hurt me. Were so. you happy at that stage? Not, not really. No. <laughs> Pretty stupid. We saw some steam on the water in that general vicinity. Yeah. There's a couple good. of boaters out there who heard a lot of swearing, I think. Okay. Now, you threw cranker crabs? I did, yeah. You saw me throwing them today. And for those so. who don't know what a cranker crab is, explain to some of the guests here. Yeah, okay. So, well, if you don't know what a cranker crab is, probably haven't been tournament fishing at all in the last couple of years. But uh, they take it everywhere by storm. Um, yeah. The one I was using mainly... It's an olive one, which I've hit with a black paint marker. I don't know whether it's, it seemed to uh, work on the fish today. So It just imitates a crab. It has little floats on yeah, the... Yeah, little float on the claws. So and as the crab goes down, the arms come up, and it makes it look like a real crab. Yeah. And you watch me hardly even move it. When uh, I, when you just I, throw it out, have a cigarette. No, I'm only kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then wind it in. All right, you need 2.14 kilos to take out the St. George's Basin round. Ready to go, boys? 3.39 kilos. Well, well done. Awesome. Was there any you want to wait for Big Brim or is it no, it's no, not worth it? No, the biggest is just over a kilo. So. All right, that sounds good. All right, we're going to just take and go through some scoring notes here, and then we're going to have the presentation within about three minutes, so no hang worries. around. Thank you. And I'll get Chris Purnell on stage with me on the presentation, please, Chris. For those anglers who are still hungry, there's still plenty to eat over there, so please um, don't let the food go to waste. There's plenty of something to eat. Help yourselves.
Okay, we've uh, finalized the scoring, and uh, Jim will put some names on the screen. If you get your name called, come back up. Bob will get some photos. We're going to start off with the PA-17 division, and all three guys will get to have on stage on this one. He's just going to minimize. Okay, in third place, uh, Mick Coggins and Jason Lambert on the PA-17. Overall, at 2.01 kilos. You guys still here? Is Mick and James? Jason, sorry? Are they coming, Darren? First time we've had the PA 17T division. It's a tandem kayak. It uh, replaces basically a small dinghy, two Mirage drives, comfortable seats, a lot of fun. Well done, boys. We'll get a photo with Chris Purnell. Get him here and look at his Bob up the front. Uh, have a look at Bob's just up the front for the photo. There you go. There you go. In second place is Colin and Francis D. Matana, Patina. Second place, the PA 17 T's. Come on up, boys. Martina. I'll get it right one day. I need a bigger monitor. <laughs> well done, boys. Well done. Step up here. Spot us for Bob. New division of the class. We look forward to seeing more and more of this division all the way through. And to make the run is uh, Daryl Head and Coben Rasker. First place, first time ever in the PA-17 division. Well done, boys. Well done. And don't go away, Daryl. And first time out, first time win. How much fun was that today? Oh, it's a lot of fun. Um, for people who haven't tried a PA-17 before, I've had it for a long time now, and I, it's my go-to boat. I'd rather use it than the 14. It's yeah. just... It's a lot of fun. Yeah, just a good social boat. And on these boats, too, we do allow trolling motors, which makes it really easy for yeah. the drifting and things like that. So, And I believe that was your first comp as well? Good fun? Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. No and uh, Thank you. Making the effort to be here. Okay. In the youth division, um, with four, eight fish at 4.85 kilos, Stephen Pryke. He's becoming a regular here at this one. This is our last year with Stephen. He tells us he's uh, goes in the 22s, 21. Sorry, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Well done. Get a photo of Bob in the women's division with eight fish for 4.61 kilos. Tamika Purnell. <laughs> and Harvey. This is really good when your husband presents the prize to you. <laughs> Tamika and Chris, as I said earlier, totally immersed water sports, South Nara, Hobie dealers, stand-up paddle boards, eclipse spikes, they got everything there. Eclipse to go, that's it. <laughs> and here's Harvey. Harvey loves Lewis. That's got Lewis in it. Hold that. Look at that. <laughs> turn around, buddy. Yeah. I'm shy. I'm shy, Daddy. Come on. 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 Getting more consistent every single round we see. It's done well. Four fish for 2.24 on day one. A little bit lighter bag on day two, 
There you go. Awesome. And in the first time competitors, first event ever is Connor Barrett, three fish for 1.68. So Connor, it's your first event ever. He's he couldn't. He's gone for today. Okay, now we'll go into the uh, monster mover, and that is what you've got highlighted there. Okay, monster mover is the angler who's improved the most over a two-day period. This person has zero fish on day one, four fish on day two for 2.09 kilos. Warren Forbes takes home the Mortgage Corp monster mover. Well done. As I said, if you're a first-timer, you can come in here and there's no membership fees, entry fees. You get to come and see what the comp scene's all about, learn how the systems work with the weighing, the bump tubs, and the scoring, and um, get in some prizes. Gets the Mortgage Corp. Thanks to Neil Carstairs for that. Long time supporter of the event. Been fishing with us since uh, 2009. Great finance broker. Mortgage Corp. Thank you. And we go into 10th place in... Oh, okay, in 10th uh, place. Eight fish for 4.74 kilos, taking home $110, Simon Morley. I know where that money's going. <laughs> we just endorse a check to you. <laughs> what are you buying her? <laughs> okay, in ninth place, eight fish, 4.76 kilo. They've actually tied for ninth, but Brian Hunt is going to be $140 better off for the day. Brian had four fish for 2.46 on day one, four fish for 2.30 on day two. Well done. In eighth place, with eight fish for 4.76 kilos at $160, chasing a handful of points is Tony Petty from Victoria. That's a handful of points, those. It'll make up for Adelaide anyway. <laughs> It'll go and make up for Adelaide. Adelaide was a shocker. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Good. And don't go away. You're going to pick up another $100 from Frogley's Offshore through the atomic side of it for Big Brim. And his Big Brim came in at 1.45 kilos. Another $100. And the atomic Big Brim. Well done. In seventh place with 4.84 kilos, uh, taking home $180. From New South Wales, in seventh place, Warren Allen. A little bit of spawn duty. And some good points. In sixth place, 4.85 kilos. Um, takes home $200. He also won the youth division, Stephen Pryke. Well done. He's doing very, very well. He's been uh, really good with us on the media boat, allows us to approach, get some nice video, and uh, lets everyone see what he's doing. It's great to see these, uh, these youth fishing. It's a lot of fun, and it just shows you're fishing in two divisions. You put the effort in. He's done very well. In fifth place, eight fish for 4.98 kilos. $230 prize money is New South Wales. Well done, Michael. Had 2.92 kilos on day two, a little bit light on the bag on day two, 2.06 kilos.
Okay, next weighing in eight fish at 5.03 kilos, taking him home $270 from Victoria Chesney Fung. He's been putting some very, very good rounds together, very consistent, and lots of miles. So you have uh, in the top 10, you have four Victorians, I believe, in the top 10. Sneaking into the. There you go, well done. Fix your hair too, yeah? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, in third place, 5.21 kilos, the money going up now, five, <clears throat> $590. Scott Marskankowski, 5.21 kilos, 590. Well done. Had two good bags improved. Day one was a 2.23 kilo bag for four, and the second day was 2.98 kilos. Well done. Eight fish for 5.34 kilos. Take him home at $910. Byron Hill, the birthday boy. <laughs> The missus says you're 23. <laughs> well done, matey. That's good. <laughs> All right, in first place, day one, four fish for 3.21 kilos. Day two improved on that after even throwing over a 800 gram one in that cloud of steam we saw. Four fish for 3.39. Total of eight fish. Total weight 6.6 .6 kilos. A payout of $1,750 from Victoria, Richard Summerton. Please put your hands together once again for Richard. Tanya has already spent the money. <laughs> she just texted me. <laughs> That's the beauty about live telecast. Well, come on up, Richard, and we'll just have a quick one, and then we're going to get the top three guys up, and also the division winners up, and Bob's going to get a group photo. The doom and gloom was kind of Monday and Tuesday. It looked like we're going to get a really downpour here, and things cleared up. A bit of rain on the pre-fish day, but Saturday and Sunday, weather-wise, turned out pretty good. Well, um... Uh there you go, just at that bottom there. There you go. Um, yeah, well, the, actually, the weather probably was too good, to be honest. Um, that nice little flat over uh, where Taylor saw Tony this morning, that's a cracking flat when the wind gets up, but yeah. uh, unfortunately it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I sat in my little tent down at Husk Husk Huskinson. Yeah, that's it. At, um, yeah, on, what was it, on Friday night? Friday night. night. Well, what am I doing? <laughs> it would have been a bit wet. It was. It's all right in the Oz tent. It's, yeah. it's fine. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, but it's turned it, turn it on great this weekend and a uh, really good turnout, which is uh, awesome. It's probably the largest one I think we've had in New South Wales, especially at the Basin for a long time. You know, I had 62 to 63 anglers. I forget the number there. Great turnout and uh, a lot of people of interstate in South Australia, Victoria, obviously, New South Wales, ACT. The youth division's going good. The women's, the PA-17s. I think we've got a pretty good formula. Fantastic support by Totally Immersed Water Sports, and uh, obviously you've got some sponsors you'd like to thank for the yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah, ma majorly, of course. Uh, thank you guys, Hobie Fishing and everything, and Hobie Australasia have helped me out. Um, of course, uh, Hobie Polarized, uh, which I used a lot um, today and yesterday. Uh, the light-coloured lenses first thing in the morning, and uh, I was just spotting those little gravel patches and casting into them, which was uh, essential. Uh, Rhino Rack, Hummingbird. Scott Lovig, Hobie, Cranker, and uh, Duff Rods. Fantastic. I think that's everyone. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, well done. We'll just get the uh, winners back up. Bob will get Thanks some stuff, and then we'll go from there. Thank you so much. Well, that wraps it up for me. We greatly appreciate uh, all the anglers. We know there are lots and lots of comps out there that you have a choice to attend, and we are really privileged to see you guys show up and support our rounds. We do our best to put on a good show for you, and the waterway uh, lived up to its name. St. George's Basin is our home waters for all the staff here, and uh, it's really good to see the, the locals turn out and the fishery come very good. So once again, thank you, and uh, have a good afternoon.